All right, we're going to take a quick look here at the new leaderboard, which was released uh, last week. Um, so leaderboard uh, is accessible on the web as well as any athletes and coaches mobile app. Um, but the revamped leaderboard that we'll review here is on uh, the web. So if we go to workout tools and scroll down to leaderboard, um, you'll see that we can try the new beta. Uh, so fairly soon, this will no longer be a beta, but just be our primary leaderboard page. And what we can do now is we can add a leaderboard and do it by category, which is lift, SAQ plus C, which is speed, agility, quickness, and cardio, and circuits. So in this case, I'll do a lift. We'll use barbell back squat because why not? And then you can choose from multiple groups. So we can do all football. These are different groups that you create in your account. You can also uh, include athletes that match any of the selected groups, meaning if they belong to one of multiple, or you can do it so that they can belong to all selected groups. So in this case, it doesn't matter because we're just running one group. And then we'll go ahead and hit next. And then we can also take a group and split it up by gender. Um, so in this case, in our demo account, that doesn't necessarily matter at the moment. Lastly, we can use time frame. So if you want the all time leaderboard, leaderboard from last 30 days or today only, you can also do a custom range leaderboard. So I'll do the all time leaderboard and I'll compare it to say maxes within the last 30 days or today or what have you. So uh, the comparison works in that we'll show the number from this time frame, uh, for instance, last 30 days, and you can compare the max of the last 30 days to their all time max. Uh, as well. So that would be like a custom date range. So um, to keep things simple, I'll just pull the all time leaderboard and add this board. And as it generates, you'll see one, two, three. And then what you can do is, is you can edit it and you can edit the leaderboard right here on the spot. So if you need to make changes, you can do that just by clicking this edit icon. You can download the leaderboard right here and downloading it will allow you to download it to a CSV file. And then you have some settings as well. And settings allow you to enable the leaderboard to scroll automatically. Uh, it could also reload automatically. So if you're using Weight Room View, or if you're having athletes input their um, results into Team Builder on the app, or if you as a coach are inputting results, this will update the leaderboard as new results make their way in. And then you can choose how long it takes for the leaderboard to refresh, okay? So that's one aspect, but here's the other. We can add multiple leaderboards now. So if you want to add another lift and this time you want to do a uh, bench press, then you can add a second leaderboard and we can go ahead and add that in, hit next. In this case, just select all time. And when we add that board, we have a second and you can even add a third leaderboard. So if you have TVs and you're looking for some content to just be on the TVs, I guess, passively uh, while there's no session going on, you can have these leaderboards up there and just scrolling automatically. Um, you can also, like I said, add a third leaderboard and have them refresh automatically. So you can have three leaderboards on one TV, all refreshing as new results take place in the weight room. So this is uh, the new leaderboard uh, layout. Let us know what you think about it in the comments. Give it a try and uh, give us any feedback you have.